So I finished Daredevil, the Netflix series, last night, or the first season thereof, and it was fantastic, and I'm really enthusiastic about there being a second season, uh, because there are a lot of seeds sown for other things, uh, a lot of, like, little cameos and awesome things, but plot-wise, there are uh, interesting hints as to what might be developed next. Um, there could be in the next season or the following season, depending on how long the show goes, um, a, um, an adaptation of Frank Miller's plot lines, specifically um, what's been collected as Born Again, and because um, we've already got an inkling of, of Karen's substance abuse issues, so that's really exciting. It shouldn't be exciting that I'm watching a woman drink copiously, but it's amazing. Um, but this is important because uh, the, the byline for Born Again is um, a man without fear is a man without hope. Um, Daredevil's, uh, one of his epithets is the man without fear, um, which was sort of hinted at in the, the Netflix series, the first season, but they never came out and said, like, oh, that guy's fearless, or this is the man without fear, which is a little bit disappointing for me. I was waiting and waiting. There's all this Thurgood Marshall stuff, and, like, they keep talking about fear, and they never say the man without fear. Um, but um, in light of a man without hope is a man without fear, or a man without fear is a man without hope, whichever direction it goes in, um, this song, Hold On Hope, by Guided by Voices has been stuck in my head and it's one of my favorite songs. It's really, really interesting in a number of ways. Like I really like the lyrics. I think that um, a lot of Guided by Voices lyrics aren't as good uh, or as, um, they aren't concrete enough to have the impact that something like Hold On Hope does. Um, a lot of Guided by Voices lyrics are very good, but they lack any kind of concrete thing, you know, the, the emotional impact isn't there because they're, they're a little bit more thinky, um, but Hold On Hope it has an emotional impact because it's a much more concrete song, and I really appreciate that. I also, as I've been learning to play it, have noticed that it could be easily reharmonized um, to be a two chord song. And granted, they're, you know, jazz chords, but if the, the reason that it doesn't have two chords is partially because Robert Pollard just doesn't write um, those songs, or, or didn't at that point in his career, um, but the music drives it in an interesting way. So, um, with the one exception, um, the this... That you can't reharmonize that in, into the two chord thing, but the rest of it you can. Um, but the way that the music works, it instead of alternating back and forth between two chords, which it could do, the melody would fit perfectly fine. Um, you've got a weird, um, uncomfortable, like up and down thing that happens. Um, most chord progressions, or many chord progressions, move in one way. Um, so you've got descending bass lines most of the time, um, or much of the time. You've also got um, ascending bass lines much of the time. Um, but the way that the chords work in Hold On Hope, you get neither. Like, they, they are kind of all over the place, and it lends the song this weird Neil Young mystical disconcerting vibe um, and I, I really enjoy that and it's perfect for the subject matter. Um, Hold On Hope is is like I said concrete lyrically but also not. I mean look at the talk box in Mute Frustration is a very concrete line. At the station, there hides the cowboy. Not so much. Um, so these images are juxtaposed, and the music um, helps reinforce the juxtapositions because it sets you 
off kilter to start with like everything about the the harmonic structure of the song um keeps you a little bit off balance the whole time so when weird things happen lyrically uh, you're not surprised by it. You're able to engage those things because it, you know, it's not a 12-bar blues. It's not a predictable, you know, nice um, series of chord changes. And I think that that's great. I really like Hold On Hope, and I really like the Daredevil Netflix series. So you should watch that. You should listen to Hold On Hope by Guided by Voices. You should listen to lots of Guided by Voices. Um, and I will see you later. Every street is dark and folding out mysterious. chance we take to be always working and reaching out for a hand that we can't see but everybody's gotta hold on hope it's the last thing that's holding to the last dance and then it's time to leave well, that's the price we pay when we deceive one another animal mother she opens up for free everybody's got a hold That's holding me Look at the talk box In mute frustration At the station There hides the cowboy His campfire flickering On the landscape Time still goes on through each life of misery. Everybody's gotta hold on hope. It's the last thing that's holding me. Everybody's gotta hold on hope. It's the last thing that's holding me. Everybody's got to hold on hope It's the last thing That's holding me